What's up everyone? This is Steve Aoki and we are back for Aoki's house. This is episode number 26. And tonight we have Dimac Records artist Mustard Pimp just released their brand new album, No Title or Purpose. So to start off the set, here is Tornado, my brand new record with Tiesto that just came out exclusively on Beatport for the next two weeks. And in the following year, we will release a music video and a vocal version. house this is episode number 26 and we are very lucky that we have special guests all the way from france mustard pimp yo bro what the fuck mustard pimp how you guys doing (laughs) not too bad not too bad just landed in l.a a few days ago and uh especially bad weather in l.a raining but all good all right these guys have crazy french accents so hopefully you guys can understand (laughs) what they're saying um yeah but they're like they're almost like la natives they're always out in la 
and I get to see their pretty faces all the time. Um, coming to the Dimmac Studios and the Dre's party that we have out here. Um, so yeah, we're there here in the studio with with me, and uh, they have an incredible album out now called No Title or Purpose, and of course it's on Dimmac Records. I've loved these guys from day one. I've been a supporter of Mustard Pimp for years now, um, from you know putting out uh, a single uh, like two over two years ago called Cherry, right? Um, and um, and then we released you know all kinds of music. They've remixed all kinds of bands. They've put together an album that stands alone as one of the most unique sounding electronic albums I've heard in a long time. I mean, you have you have dubstep, you have you know, drum and bass, but it's, it's like, a, you know, drum and bass tempo, the 86 BPM tempo, 175 BPM tempo, uh, but it's unique sounding. It's, uh, you have, obviously, the four on the floor, uh, more electro records, and then they have more techno records, and tons of collaborations. Yeah, it's true. So let's, let's talk about that. I mean, how long did it take you to do the album? Tell us about your collaborations. Tell, tell us everything. Uh, three, it took uh, six months uh, during the tour and after uh, we stuck in studio for three months and we are going touring at the end. Uh, I think we finished the album around January and probably we didn't have any collab before last September and uh, the, the September from the last year and um, we had to find out how to put the collaboration on the track we already created at the beginning and uh, after that, we tried to drop Jimmy Urine on some electronic beats, uh, drop Ituna and I hip hop beats, and uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it was uh, totally weird. And uh, we, we did it uh, like this in five, six hours, dropping the, the featuring and the voice. And we had the chance to work with uh, pretty famous artists like. Uh, at like Empire, we were in studio in 2009 with the also, and we were working my place in the studio in my small room, and we were doing tracks like way before it became super famous. And that was really fun. We were eating pasta at the time in Paris, and uh, it was pretty funny to, to put all those people on that album, which is uh, very weird. All the genre of electronic music are represented, but it's not too cliche either. So, I don't know. Okay, you know what, what I'm going to just reiterate for all the listeners? Is yeah. that um, this album has a diverse range of features. I, I mean, we have uh, Alec Empire from the uh, famous Atari Teenage Riot, which is, that track was one of my favorites. It's the two thousand to me. It's the two thousand eleven version of Prodigy. Just an incredible record. Um, then they have a record with Charlie Tuna from Jurassic Five, which is also a great, great record. It's an eighty six BPM tempo, so you can rock it into your drum and bass sets. Um, they have a record with Jimmy Urine from Mindless Self Indulgence. I mean, <laughs> these are like these guys never did dance records. You know, it's just. Like, it's a, it's it's pretty pretty insane, and then obviously the uh, the collaboration with Skrillex. I mean, that's we're gonna we're gonna get back to that later in the interview. I want to talk to you guys about that. It's, I think a lot of listeners want to hear about that. Um, and one of my favorites is um is your is your collab with Dirty Phonics. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. That's actually the next single on the Records in uh, December. That will be the next single. The next <laughs> single, the next single coming out is City Kids with Dirty Phonics. Yeah. And on December 6th, I think. I believe. December 6th. Yeah. All right. So and, you guys uh, can uh, look out for that. And, I mean, Dirty Phonics are, are an amazing up-and-coming uh, group as well. I mean, they have, they're, they're an amazing producers, remixers. Yes, sir. And Mercy. And it's a hundred percent French collaboration that must have been and Doris Panic. We were stuck in the studio in Paris and we didn't know each other before and we did that track, the kind of the meeting of uh Must Have Pink and Doris Panic in the studio. So uh, pretty interesting and that track is uh, really crazy. It's a drum step tempo, one forty BPM with a dubstep bass and at the same time there is a hook like uh, which is reminding uh, rock and roll and 
What is funny about Dirty 20 is that when I was playing my hardcore band before, we were sharing some tour with the, the, the main producer of Dirty 20. So each of us, we knew each other, but we didn't know we were in a team for Dirty 20. And we just made in studio, we realized that we knew each other and we played back in the days together. So this is uh, pretty fun. We all came from the rock scene and we all are now electronic producer. That's pretty fun. That's, that's awesome. From rock to electronic, I, I definitely know that transition. This record coming up next, the Bloody Beatroots Comeback, the first single off their second album, Church of Noise, featuring Dennis Lixon from Refused.
This record coming up next came out at the top of November. This one's Retons Dark Place featuring Shani Cupcake, the Waffle Remix. area on Sirius XM. banger in my sets recently really excited to debut this one on Denmark Records Felix Cartel's Don't Turn On The Lights You gotta act now Don't wait till it's over Cause all we have is Right now Hold my hand as we get lost in the darkness All we have is Right now You gotta act now Don't wait till it's over Cause all we have is Right now, 
mustard pimp. Uh, they came all the way from France to Los Angeles. We um, we're gonna go party later on at our Dimac Sundays night. Uh, but before then, we're gonna get back to this interview. So they have an incredible album called No Title or Purpose out right now. You could buy it on iTunes. You could buy it on Beatport. Check out all the collabs they've done. And uh, I want to go dive into this one collab you guys did called Catch Me with Alec Empire and Skrillex. I mean, yeah. this track is incredible. So let's talk about that. So everything started uh, in 2009 in the summer, and we met Sony by internet, and he, he was in studio with Noja at that time. And I remember we were doing some party in uh, Belgium, and uh, actually, he was really unfamous before, and he just stayed at our place for two or three days, and we were eating uh, pastas and uh, having some barbecues, and we stayed two days in my room, and we did two tracks, and one finished to be, uh, one was the Catch Me, another one we kept uh, beside, and we didn't release, but we really wanted to make that track, and after we all know what happened to, uh, to Sony and Skrillex, and he became super famous and everything, and he had this hook uh, at the voice he, re he, he recorded. And uh, actually, we were also speaking with uh, Alec, Empire, uh, Alec Empire later. And uh, we did uh, the Sony Skrillex hook. We did at the. Who, what? Sorry. I lost my name. We did the Sony's hook by Alec Empire. So it's a 100% collaboration. Uh, uh, Alec Empire, Sony, Mustafi, Skrillex, Mustafi. So, what what did Sonny write? Did he write the vocal? Did he write some of the music? Or he wrote the main bass, the motor bass, and he did. The, I did the beat, I think, and the the leads, and after that, Alec Empire had all these vocals and some other more gimmicks, and we did everything together and mixer. And there is also one, I think uh, Sony did one, one version of that track, but uh, I think he, he lost he lost his uh, laptop in this uh, winter, so yeah. I don't know what happened. You see, you got a long version that we all want, so 2009. Well, you know what, that track is so fucking cool. I love that track. And whenever I, I play it for people actually outside of the electronic world, that's their, one of their favorite tracks they've heard in a long time. Because it's, it's got so much energy. It sounds like it's a live band. Um, it's not your typical four on the floor, like, right from the start. I mean, it's got a lot of character, personality. It's a fucking great track. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, Catch Me with Alec Empire from Atari Teenage Riot. Um, collaborated with Skrillex as well. Uh, so that's, that's, a, that's a really good one. All right, and um, I, um, you know, in, in August... I did this tour called uh, Identity Festival, and we we traveled uh, across the U.S. We did 20 dates across the U.S., um, and I brought my live show. I did a, my first bus tour, uh, bringing in my live show. It was a fixed set that I played. Um, I played pretty much all my own music and then Dim Mac Records tracks that just came out. So one of the featured tracks I played... Crazy studio <laughs> wobble. All right, one of the feature tracks that I played uh, was, of course, was your track, was Mustard Pimp's ZHM, yeah. which is fucking awesome. And, I mean, it was one of the tracks that everyone was just jumping in the air to. And, uh, yeah, it was... I want to see that. <laughs> yeah, I played it every single show. Every single show, 20 days. Um, and I, I made my own re-edit to the video of your crazy video that you made. Yeah. So, uh, like, uh, first of all, to all the listeners out there, this video for ZHM is just, it's, it's like, it got banned from YouTube, okay? Like, that's, like, let's start off like that. It got banned from YouTube for being too explicit. There's, like, this, like, sex scene and, but not really, but with buckets. Right? What's that? There's not even one boob or tits or whatever. There, yeah, okay, there's, not, there's no boobs or tits or vagina or penises anywhere in this video. Um, it's with Muppets, and there's blood everywhere. 
This video is awesome. Let's talk about this video. Uh, well, actually, we asked some directors from Ben Tan ben to, to direct that, that, that video, and our manager told us, you're going to see that. That guy is crazy. And I remember, I think I was at the U.S. Embassy when he sent me the video. I didn't know what he wanted to do. He said, I'm going to put puppets and porno movies and blood everywhere. I said, okay, okay, go ahead and we're going to see the results. And I'm rem I remember I was uh, waiting for my visa at the U.S. Embassy and I was uh, dead looking on the ground and everybody was looking at me. I didn't know what to do with my, my phone in my hand. I was just watching the video. It was so funny. So funny. And are those real porn stars? Apparently, yeah. The blonde girl is a real porn star, I think. She's, so. Yeah, she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> she's hot. She's a hot porn star, man. She is. <laughs> you gotta send me a link to one of her porno movies. Yeah, I'll have to find out. I'll have to find out. I think I got her number somewhere, but I don't know. All right, maybe, well, maybe we're gonna use her for our next video, too. Okay. Well, everyone, you guys got to check out this video. It's on Vimeo.com now. Um, just type in Mustard Pimp ZHM on Vimeo.com so you can check it out yourself. If you love Muppets, blood, sex, um, porn, uh, <laughs> and great crazy music. And, and we had the ID before Duck Sauce 2 for their video. <laughs> they have a video when they replace the, the dick of the guy by their face, but it's our ID originally. We did it before. <laughs> Alright, so check out the, watch the Duck Sauce video because that's also in incredibly funny with the arm yeah, yeah. and the track. And then, <laughs> <Stop> watch, our <laughs> ID. <laughs> and then Mustard Pimp did this, you know, a while ago, but either way, both great songs, great videos, and uh, aw that's awesome. To end this little interview section, I'm going to play you ZHM by Mustard Pimp.
another exclusive for all you guys out there. This one's new Ivory single, Something You Should Know, remixed by J.O.B.
here is another new unreleased track coming out on Dimmock, debuting on Aoki's house. This is Zed's Stars Come Out. You light me up, you bring the crowd. I think about this every time the stars come out. You light me up, you chase the clouds. I think about this every time the stars come out. 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 live in the studio with Mustard Pimp and their brand new album, No Title or Purpose. Check it out online, buy it on Beatport, buy it on iTunes. It's all available with all these amazing collaborations. One with Alec Empire called Catch Me, which is also featuring a collaboration with Skrillex on that. Uh, we got collaborations with Jimmy Urine from Mindless Self-Indulgence, Charlie Tuna from Jurassic 5, uh, Puppet Masters, uh, you know, t- all kinds of stuff, Dirty Phonics. So check that out. And what, we're, what the, this is the last section of the interview. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to I wanna talk about your live show. I mean, I, I myself, I, I've known some DJs that have gone from DJing to now a live band. And uh, like, for example, uh, Digitalism. You know, they were a, you know, a duo that, that, that were DJs and then they went live and all of a sudden their show actually became that much more interesting and appealing and it was so much better bloody beat roots you know bob Riffle and tommy t dj set and now a full-blown live show with guitars and all these keyboards and synths and stuff and just completely different thing all together so now muster pimp you guys have gone live uh yeah. you know this duo dj set uh, now to a, a big crazy live show let's let's talk about that that, that's really new, it's brand new, and we didn't talk about anything about that, so it's uh, really exclusive for you. 
so this day we are practicing rehearsal for the live show and we're gonna play our first live act in San Francisco the 16th of uh, at Club uh, 715 EPR in San Francisco and, uh, and the 18th in Avalon in Los Angeles so it's gonna be our first live act uh, for the occasion we hired one drummer uh, uh, who's gonna be with us on stage? So we're gonna be three. We're gonna be turntables, keyboard, NPCs, and live drums. Uh, to and we're gonna play only our tracks and our songs, which is a brand new way of thinking uh, electronic music. Actually, you know what? Tell us what you think. You could email us at Aoki's House at Dimmock dot com. That's D I M M A K dot com. And uh, we really want to know because this is a huge transition for the guys. They're going to be playing all their own music, uh, all their remixes live. This is going to be really fucking cool. It's <laughs> I can't wait to see it. I, I don't know if I'll be in town, but, um, you know. Yeah, it's a very powerful. It's a one-hour set, very intense. It's uh, coming from big beats live with drums this is crazy we we couldn't we couldn't stay with an album like this and stuck on dj set like simple dj set we wanted to uh, include some live elements and we sampled everything all the track has been edited and we come we go from electro big beats drum and bass gather outpour uh surf music whatever hip-hop breaks dubstep drumstep uh, Black Mirror or whatever, <laughs> free jazz. <laughs> There's everything in the show and the uh, visuals are going to be crazy too. We are working on, on new stuff. We are, we are practicing these days. It's, it's not really 100%, but it's, uh, it's, coming, uh, it's coming fast. Awesome. All right, Master Pimp. All right, what, what's your favorite book? Book? Uh, we don't read. <laughs> <laughs> Master Pimp doesn't read. All right. What What's your favorite black metal band? Uh, I like Wolves in the Throne Room. Marduk, Marduk, and Wolves in the Throne Room. Okay. All right. Favorite black metal band by Mushrooms. Wolves in the Throne Room. Okay. Um, who's your Who's your favorite person you collaborated with? I understood. Brian, that. Brian Linares. Brian Linares from Dimac. Collaborated with Brian Linares. Yeah. <laughs> what What kind of What What kind of sex video did you make? Saxophone. Saxophone and trumpet. Naked? No. Did you guys do this naked or how did you guys do it? <laughs> we you want to collab with? Uh, yeah, the G. Okay, so these are the people that they want to collaborate with. Uh, so what, who is your favorite collaborated project so far? Jimmy Rin is cool. Jimmy Rin is cool. Yeah. Uh, very funny, super good. Yeah. Uh, very funny, so very good friends. So. Yeah, we have lots of friends. In the same language, is uh, easier. So for the jokes about girls. What's your What's your favorite city in the world? Tokyo and Mono. Mono. Wait, wait. Mono, where we come from? Yeah. Where? Wait, where is it? Where are you come from? Mono. Long in France. Milan. Yeah. yeah. Mono. Sounds like Milan, Italy. It's kind of. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a shitty version. Okay, so Tokyo and Milan. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's your favorite show in the world? Milan. You want to know the worst? Maybe it's the yeah, worst. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What, what's the worst? What's the worst? San Luis. San Luis, Missouri, uh, and Perth in Australia. Perth, Perth, Australia. <laughs> what's the worst show? <laughs> okay. All right. And what's the best show? No idea. <laughs> Uh, yes, we had a lot of good shows. Well, it's it's really hard to pick one, you know, like... I know, I hate that question, man. Everybody's gonna be upset after that, so... Yeah, I don't know what to say. say. <laughs> Let's say that we had a lot of good shows, then. That's a good show. It's really hard to pick one. Okay. What, what are the hottest girls in the world? The worst is, uh... UK... <laughs> and, uh... Poland, I think. All right. <laughs> All right, all right, we're, we're good here, guys. Thank you guys so much. Mustard Pimp! Mustard Pimp! In the house! Guys. In the Aoki's house, we have Mustard Pimp. What a crazy interview. Amazing album. Once again, no title or purpose. 
out now. Buy it on iTunes. It's an incredible album. Um, and, uh, you know, you heard ZHM on the show so far. You heard Catch Me uh, with Alec Empire and Skrillex actually collaborate on that one as well. Um, great band. They have an incredible live show. Um, come see them in L.A. Come see them in San Francisco, uh, November 16th and 18th. And, uh, yeah, give it up for Mustard Pimp. Yo, yo. Here we have Mustard Pimp's City Kids featuring Dirty Phonics. <laughs> Tough kids, huh?
long-awaited Alvin Risk remix of my track with Rivers Cuomo, Earthquakey People. Earthquake ride! Woo! <laughs> Records Camp, Mr. Wazo's Douche Beat. Beat for the douches. Beat for the douches. Beat for the douches. for the douches.
the douche is. Thanks for listening. This is Steve Aoki, and this is Aoki's House, episode number 26. You can catch me on the road as I'm touring across the U.S. You can check out all my tour dates up on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash DJ Aoki. And if you came to one of my shows, tag yourself, because I'm taking group photos of every show everywhere across the world. A beat for the douches.